Hi, Bowman. Do I put a grade 10 science is in front of you to talk about motion in a straight line one more time as per the Sri Lankan government school syllabus, chapter number two for the second time. What have we learned today? We are going to learn about speed today. We already know the difference between distance and displacement and we got a very clear information about the difference between distance and displacement. Now we are going to learn the speed. Let's get into the subject. Speed. Speed has a definite equation that is distance divided by time, while velocity has a different equation that is displacement divided by time. Acceleration is also got a definition which is change of velocity divided by time. And mean velocity has a different equation. It's got initial velocity plus final velocity divided by time. Now, if you see these definitions, speed is only talking about distance, not about displacement. So we will understand that speed now with some beautiful examples from your book itself. Lovely. Let's get into the subject. Now speed. If you are looking at this beautiful graph, you can see the difference between 0 to 1 second and 1 to 2 seconds. See the difference? It is 3. When he is traveling, it is 3 meters. This is 3 meter and this has a 3 meter difference and this has a 3 meter difference. And this has a 3 meter difference. Do you see that? It is equal, right? Now, according to these data, distance traversed by the object during the first second is 3 minus 0 is 3. And distance traversed during the next second is 3 meter. And the next is 3 meter. And this next is 3 meter. It goes on like that. Now, that is called uniform or constant speed. What is it's known as? Uniform or constant speed. When somebody is traveling with the time, with the time, the distance when it is not changing, that is known as uniform or constant speed. Now you know that distance hasn't got a direction. It can be any direction. It's not they are talking about displacement. So uniform or constant speed is explained like this. Now, Distance got something called in meter and time got something measured in second. Therefore, when you are writing distance, they are writing like meters per second. Meters per second, yes. But it's fine. Meters per second is the right answer. So, the above object has a speed of 3 meters per second. How many? 3 meters per second. Lovely. Now there is another thing that you should understand in this chap in this particular chart which is says the distance traversed in 1 second is 3 in 1 to 2 it is moving 2 meters and 2 to 3 it is moving 4 meters and 3 to 4 it is moving another 3 12 to 16 it is 4 and 16 to 18 it is 2 first 1 to 2 second 0 to 1 second it is it traveled 3 meter from 1 to 2 it traveled 2 meters from 2 to 3 it is traveling 4 3 to 4 it is traveling 3 so there is a clear change in the distance do you see that one therefore the distance traversed by this object during each interval of 1 second is not same that this object has not traveled with a uniform speed in a time like that, how to calculate the speed? How to calculate the speed? So, you cannot just put the speed for this particular equation. Therefore, in a time like that, what they do is, they take something called mean speed or average speed. You can see the same equation that is, we are talking about, still talking about the same chart. So, this has no equal difference between each time interval like 3, 2, 4, 3, 4 and 2. Therefore, 
mean speed or average speed is calculated as total distance traveled here it is total tra distance traveled is 18 and total time duration which is 6 so you came to know what is the mean speed of this particular chart also it will be as 3 meters per second so that is the mean speed of this particular chart if somebody is asking you to calculate it you can calculate that also that mean the mean speed or the average speed of the object should be calculated when there is no proper interval between one time to another time so we came to know about the speed and the mean speed in this session also let's understand another thing in our next session until then bye bye and take care of yourself